Good morning, one and all. Thank you for joining the webinar today. My name is Christus, and I'm going to be the presenter for today. So just a couple of uh, things before we start the webinar today. Uh, so these are the series of sessions that were planned, and uh, we have a few more sessions to be completed. So today, our topic is about secure remote access. And uh, the four sessions, the previous sessions, are available in the registration link. If you go to the registration link, if you have missed any of these webinars in the past, you can take a look at it anytime by just going into the registration link. And also the question and answer sheet is also shared there. So if you have any questions or any doubts, you can just refer the question and answer sheets of the webinar. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact me. And again, today's topic is about secure remote access. And we have a few more sessions coming up in the upcoming weeks, which is about the APIs, audits and reports, integrations and advanced configurations, availability and disaster recovery, and MSP managing organizations. So these are the upcoming topics of the masterclass. Right, so the webinar, this, again, this webinar is also recorded and it will also be published in the link and also will be sent as an email to all the participants and all the registrants with the question and answers. So if you didn't receive it or if you have any problem in viewing the video, just uh, contact me anytime. So that's about it. So let's directly jump into the webinar today about the secure remote access. So let's see the agenda for today. So what are the topics that we are going to discuss in today's masterclass? So uh, we are going to talk about remote access management and session monitoring and recording in Password Manager Pro. So this is a very interesting feature in Password Manager Pro. Apart from just remote password management capabilities or just storing and sharing the passwords, this is an additional feature that we have in Password Manager Pro that we are going to discuss today. So one of the topics that comes under the remote access management is uh, connecting uh, to a target endpoint through an RDP session, SSL session, or SQL session right from the Password Manager Pro web interface, or how do you allow the users to, uh, to access the endpoints without even knowing the password, and jump server configurations, and uh, browser extensions, how to install and how to use it is what we are going to see. And session monitoring and recording has a few topics as well that we are going to discuss today. So directly, let's jump in. So first, before getting in detail about what we are going to talk today, let's learn about the basics, what I mean by remote access or what exactly remote access means. So pretty much everyone would have an idea about what is remote access, or you very well know what exactly a remote access means. That is, you sit in your place, in your office or your home, and you connect to a remote device that is located elsewhere. So you can you have too many remote uh, uh, utilities, remote access utilities available, like MSDSE provided by Windows. You have Party, and you have so many uh, utilities that you can use in order to connect. So again, to connect to an endpoint, all you need is a user account and password. So traditionally, like when you don't have a privileged identity management, like a solution like Password Manager Pro, what you will do is you will have all your passwords stored in an Excel file. You open MSDS if you want to connect to a server. You take it from your Excel file or a sticky pad and you paste it there in the MSDS session to connect to a target server. So Password Manager Pro helps you out to ease this process, and that is what we are going to see today. So what are all the options we have in Password Manager Pro to automatically connect with the credentials stored within Password Manager Pro is you can take an RDP session for Windows along with RDP session. You can also make a VNC session right from Password Manager Pro as well as an RDP console session is available. And for any network devices or Linux devices, you will have uh, SSH connectivity or Telnet connectivity. So you can also launch a SSH session or Telnet session directly from Password Manager Pro to your network devices or to your Linux servers as well. And we have databases. So you have databases. You have to connect to the database to execute a query to find information or modify any information or add new data, delete the data. You have to connect to a database 
and in password manager pro you can launch a sql console session right from the vault directly to your database and finally the website so you will have a user account and uh, password to log into your websites and in password manager pro you can uh, automatically fill the login form and log into any website so this is what we are going to see today in this topic so so let's uh, first see how this can be achieved using password manager pro how you can automatically connect to these set of devices is what we are going to see today so going into the password manager pro web interface i have logged in as an administrator inside the product so i have so many resources as an administrator that i have added which will have its own passwords so as you already know that we discussed so far in the previous master class what is a resource what is an account what is a password is all what we saw so now i have a resource a domain controller i have a password here so i don't want to use a copy to clipboard button or copy this password to connect to the domain controller using msdsc so when you have password manager pro you can automatically launch the connection and we have all these options that you see in front of your screen which is windows remote desktop rdp console session and vnc session so when you launch a windows remote desktop session you can just see a new browser like a new tab is just popped out and it, it is connected to a server and i have active directory users and computers where i can go ahead and do my work in my domain controller right so i can automatically launch the session and you can see that it does not open any utility so it just easily opens a browser a new tab in the browser and it automatically connects to the target endpoint right from the browser itself and i'm going to show you how we can do this for a sql console like a microsoft sql console session and uh, i have an account here which is a database account a local account on that database yes i am connected now so now I have an option here where I can choose the database in which I would like to execute the query. So once I choose the database, I can go ahead and start typing the query, select query or delete query, whatever it is, you can just use it. That's a SQL console session. The third one is SSH sessions that you can launch for Linux and network devices, right from Password Manager Pro. So I have another installation right here. And I have a Cisco router, which is in a data center, right? So I have a Cisco WAN router and I have all the local accounts on that Cisco router. So I can use the SSH session or a Telnet session in order to connect the Cisco router. So when I do a SSH session, again, you see it opens it in a new browser tab and it connects to the network device automatically from where you can start executing the commands that you want. And finally the website account so let's keep it for later i'll discuss about it when we talk about the browser plugins so these are the options where you can automatically launch remote sessions directly from password manager pro for all these type of devices or resources in the product now so how this actually works in password manager pro so when you launch a session you can see that it just opens a browser tab and it actually connects you to a server like a windows server or a database or, or, or an SSH device like a Linux server or a, or a Cisco router, it just automatically launches the connection. How does it actually work? So now I am connected from my laptop to the Password Manager Pro web interface, right? So any sessions that I launch from the Password Manager Pro web interface is not la launched from my own laptop. It is launched from the Password Manager Pro server where you have the product installed. So we tunnel through the browser and just display the content. So we launch a connection from Password Manager Pro server to the target endpoint and we just display the session to the users. So you can completely block down the RDP port from your end, end users machines or you can also completely block down the SSH port and force them to use only Password Manager Pro to contact, contact or connect to a target endpoint. It's a major advantage of the feature and also when you connect when a user connects to a target endpoint each and every session will be recorded as well which we will go uh, we will see further during the master class today. so these are the benefits of the feature and also uh, you can make this as a gateway server like password manager pro as a gateway server to connect to a network for example let's say you are working from home and you want to connect to a server that's 
present in your data center or in your office that you want to connect. So you can have Password Manager Pro installed on a server facing the WAN so that you can access Password Manager Pro web interface from your home. Also, IP restrictions are available. If you don't want to access it from anywhere, then you can just restrict the IP address. Only specific IP address, you can allow Password Manager Pro to be accessed. So once you get access to the Password Manager Pro web interface, you will be able to automatically launch a session right from Password Manager Pro to a server that is located totally in a different network. So here, Password Manager Pro server will work as a gateway in order to connect to a target endpoint, which is located elsewhere. So that's a major other major advantage of this particular feature. So now we saw how we can RDP to the Windows Server, how we can SSH to a Linux server, how we can launch a SQL session right from Password Manager Pro to the target endpoints. So let's go to the next topic in today's session is provisioning remote access without revealing the passwords. Now, this login that I've just done is an administrator login. So let me just go ahead and disconnect. And exit. So now I have logged in as an administrator into Password Manager Pro. So I have all these options. I can view the password because I am the owner of it and I can view the password. I have added the passwords, I can view it. Now I want to delegate access to my users for these devices. So they have some work they have to do on the server. So I have to share the passwords with one of the users or group of users in my team to connect to a server to do their work. So how do we do it? So we saw this in our previous session where you can share a resource or resource group to the users in Password Manager Pro right from the web interface. Now, once it is shared, uh, like uh, any important privileged accounts that is shared, being an administrator, you shouldn't directly share the passwords to the user. So you have to put some control on the password so the user does not retrieve the password as soon as he logs in. So that is what we are going to see today, the workflow that is. We have two options. One is you can allow the user to request for the password every time he needs it. The second option is you can totally hide the password from the user. So the user wouldn't be able to retrieve the password at all. So that's what we are going to see today. I have a resource here. And uh, so before that, let me create a local user. So let's also talk about another scenario. Let's say you have a third party contractor walking in your office. He has some work in the server. You create a user with a name called operator or you just add him to the domain and import him into password manager pro you have various options so i have a user created called operator and uh, i will set up the username as operator so that user is a password user and i'll save it so now i have created a user in password manager pro which is called operator now i have to log into password manager pro as an operator in order to access the passwords that are shared to me so going back to the admin tab and going back in the operator login. So it does not allow us to use the same user account as password. Security. And I will copy this password. Okay. So now I have logged into Password Manager Pro as a normal user where I don't have access to any passwords because it, is, it isn't shared to me yet by an administrator. So now I go back as an administrator let me share this resource with the user called operator. I'll grant him a view access. So now when I go as an operator, I go to resources, I'll be able to retrieve the password. I'll be able to see what the password is, and then I'll be able to launch the connection. So if MSDSE is enabled in my machine, I can, without using Password Manager Pro, I can just copy the password, open MSDSE from my machine, and start connecting to the device, which you don't want. You have to restrict that. So what options we have in Password Manager Pro is first thing, configure an access control. So when you configure an access control, you have an authorized administrator and you can reset password after exclusive use. So once the user is done with this work on that server, Password Manager Pro will reset the password on the target endpoint. So even if the user has copied the password during the session, he'll not be able to use it. 
I'm not going to turn it off now because I don't want to reset the password. And you can say password access can remain exclusive for a maximum of 30 minutes. You can specify a time how long the password should be available for the user right here. So you can put it as 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour based on your requirement. You can set up the time. And I'll say save and activate. Yes, now the access control is configured on this resource. Now I go back as the user. Instead of viewing the password, I have to request to an administrator say why I need. So I say I have a maintenance work on the server and I will send it. So administrator will now review the request sent by the user. I have to do a refresh. And that appears here. He has to just see why he needs the password for okay maintenance work. So I'll say process the request and I will approve it. Yes, now the password is, password is ready to be used by the user. And it is allowed for the user for 30 minutes as we specified there. So I'll say check out, start using the password. So now I can launch a remote session. So without, we have to allow the pop-ups. So on all the browsers that you have like Chrome, Firefox, IE, you have to allow pop-ups. So now I can use the password and launch a remote session and do my work. So my work will be available only for 30 minutes. I have to finish my work in 30 minutes. If the time exceeds, immediately Password Manager Pro will kill this session and the user will not be able to log in. So if he has more work which he's not able to complete, he has to request the password again to the administrator and he has to approve it. So the moment I click on check in, Password Manager Pro will reset the password and the session would be automatically closed that you can see the tab is automatically killed. So the user wouldn't be able to use the password anymore. Even if he has copied the password, it is not going to be useful for him because Password Manager Pro has already reset the password on the backend and it has generated a new password which the user doesn't know unless he does a request again. So this is an access control feature where you can limit a user to use a server only on a specific time and also you can forcefully terminate it if you think something is going wrong with the user's access. This is one option that we have in Password Manager Pro. So now I'm going to disable the access control feature. So say deactivate, so it gets deactivated. So now when I go back as the user, I'll be able to see the password in a plain text, right? So now other option is totally hide the password from the user. So you don't want the user to know what the password is, just do his work. So we have an option on the admin section where you go to the general settings and the first option which says allow plain text view of passwords if auto log on is configured. I'll uncheck this and save and I go back as the user and do a refresh. The password will be completely hidden for the user. He'll not be able to access it at all, but he can automatically launch and do his work. So these are the two options where you can restrict the user from viewing the passwords in Password Manager Pro. So even if it is shared, you're allowing, you're, you're restricting the user from seeing the password and have him connect to the target device just to do his work. So jump server configuration is the next topic in today's session. So what is jump server? Let's talk about it first. Right. So as I told you earlier, when you launch a remote session from Password Manager Pro, let it be an RDP session or an SSH session, whatever it is, the Password Manager Pro server should have direct access to the target endpoints. For example, if it is a Windows machine, you have to have the 3389 port to be open from Password Manager Pro server to the target endpoint. Similarly, if it's a Linux device, you have to have the port 72, sorry, 22 SSH port from Password Manager Pro server to the target endpoint. Just in case you don't have a direct access from Password Manager Pro server to the target endpoint, you can introduce a landing server in between. In other words, it's called a jump server. So Password Manager Pro to contact the endpoint it will hop through the landing server to connect to the target device. So that is what we are going to see now. And this feature is available only for SSH based devices like network devices or Linux resources. And it is not supported for Windows right at this moment, but we are already working on it. 
and it should be implemented for Windows soon as well, which is the landing server concept. All right, so now let's see how you can set up a landing server in Password Manager Pro. I have a Linux resource here. So I have two Linux resources that you can see, which is CentOS and I have another test Linux. So what I have to do is I have to first define which is the landing server for my installation, which is the actual agent server in my installation. So I go here, I select landing server for SSH and Telnet, and I have specified this as a landing server. You can add multiple landing servers as well. It's totally up to you. You can also have multiple hops like primary and secondary landing servers as well. So now if I go here and say configure remote password reset, I have to select the landing server from the drop down and save. So whenever I connect to this Linux resource from Password Manager Pro, it will go through this Linux resource to connect to this Linux resource. If it is multiple servers, you can also have multiple hops as we see in the diagram. So this is how you configure landing server in Password Manager Pro. This should be available for Windows soon as well. So because we are already working on it and it should be available soon for Windows. Now, the next topic is using native browser extensions in Password Manager Pro. So Password Manager Pro, how it can be accessed. So it's totally a web-based solution as you all know. You can access it from a browser or you can access it from your mobile app. There's a mobile app available for Password Manager Pro. You can retrieve the passwords when your mobile phone is connected to your Office Network where Password Manager Pro is installed. The other option that we have here is to connect to Password Manager Pro through a browser plugin. So we provide browser plugins for Password Manager Pro, and this is where you download the plugins from. So it's available directly in our website. So I have a Chrome plugin that I can install right here. So now since I have opened it in an incognito mode, the plugin is not available. So I'm going to open a new window and I can see that there's a plugin available. So once you install it, it will be available right here. So I'm going to enter the host. So first thing is you have to enter the host and configure it. So this is the URL that you access Password Manager Pro with the port. Save and save. So now I can log in as an admin and I have access to all the resources. What are the benefits of this is you can automatically launch connections right from the browser plugin as well. So if I want to do a Windows remote desktop, you can directly launch it from Password Manager Pro as well. So I just do a Windows Remote Desktop, it's connects. What are the other advantages of the browser plugin is that if you have any websites, right, that you added in Password Manager Pro, where shared website accounts, even those can be automatically launched from the browser plugin, as well as the login form will be automatically filled for the users by Password Manager Pro plugin and allow them to automatically connect to the target device. Okay, so now we saw about how you can automatically launch, what are the options to launch automatic connections from Password Manager Pro to the target endpoints. Right? So when a user is logged into a server, how do you know as an administrator what the user is up to, like what work he is up to in the server? This is what an administrator has to monitor. He has to, the first thing is the administrator should have a clean auditing about when a user logs into a server, what work he does, he has to have a complete auditing. The second thing is, he has to know what the user is going to do on the server. So each and every session that we launch from Password Manager Pro will be recorded, which is capturing privileged sessions. So any sessions that you launch, we have a dedicated section here under the audit tab, which says recorded connections, where you can play back and see what the user has done in a later date. So this is a connection, this is a video file that I'm playing, which will show you what the user was up to, what he was doing on the server 
will be completely visible for the administrator. In addition to it, so let me go back as the user. And I connect to this uh, Windows Server. And if I go back as an administrator, you can see active privilege sessions so that you can simultaneously monitor more like a surveillance. You can see what the user is doing even without his knowledge that he's being monitored, you can see it. So this is a monitor. I'm monitoring the user, whereas the user is logged in here where I can perform the functions. The user is logged in here and the administrator is monitoring what the user is doing. If you see something wrong is going on in the server, you can immediately terminate the session so that it terminates the session for the end user himself. So he'll not be able to access that server anymore. So these are the active privilege sessions that will be available right here. So these are the video files and you'll have a question, where do they store this, right? So in Password Manager Pro, we don't store the video files inside the database. So due to space constraint and you have to have the database clean and small, we provide you an option to put this recorded connections on a external folder. It can also be a NAS drive where you can specify the location and put your recorded files. So you have to specify the location right here under the session recording. So you can also have a backup of the recorded files in a provided location, which can also be a UNC path where Password Manager Pro will hold all the files as well as you can purge the old files, old recorded files if you think it is capturing a lot of space in your in your hard drive. You can purge all the old hard thing records, recording se recorded sessions, right? So that is how you archive the videos and monitoring and terminating sessions, which we already saw. So along with the session recording, we also saw this options like how do you monitor and terminate the sessions uh, without the knowledge of the user. So let me uh, summarize before you, we get into the question and answer session for today. So what we saw till now is, uh, the previous session is, how do you securely store all your passwords in Password Manager Pro? How do you share them? How do you remotely manage them? Schedule password resets is all what we saw. In today's session, we discussed about how you can automatically log into the devices using the passwords that are stored inside Password Manager Pro. How do you? Utilize Password Manager Pro in a secure way to allow your users or contractors, technicians to log into the server without even knowing the passwords. And also, how do you monitor them and how do you audit the complete sessions that are being launched from Password Manager Pro? We have a dedicated tab for this too. Like if you want to connect to a target device, you can do it right from here as well. And this is about it. So uh, we can go ahead with the question and answers for today. So like if you have any questions, you can post it down and I'm going to answer them one by one. Does the Chrome plugins work when you configure SAML single sign-on? Unfortunately, it is not supported right at this moment. Our development team is already working on it and we'll support SAML single sign-on on the Chrome Firefox and internet plugins shortly. And I will note down your email address and I will keep you posted about it. Thank you. Let's go to the next question. So can we provide a customized port in order to do an RDP? Yes, we can specify the port. So if you have changed it from 3389, so when you go back here and edit the resource, you can specify what port for RDP you use and what port for VNC you use. You can specify it right here in this section. So the same port will be used to launch the remote connections to the target endpoints. I have another question. Can we enable the option on a group level? So only if uh, I want to restrict it for a group, yes. We can do that as well. So the option to hide the passwords can be done on a bulk 
right from here. Or if you want to do it only for specific groups, you go to the user group section and you have an option here called actions and say, I'm sorry, user group privileges. And here you can say, allow plain text view of password. So it will be affected only for the users present inside this group and it will not be, it will be visible for all others. Okay, I have another question. So apart from the default resource types, how do you enable this for a new resource type that I add? Okay, so default resource types, this will be the, for example, you have network devices uh, that you want to connect. So there are default resource types for which this will be automatically enabled. But when you create a custom resource type in Password Manager Pro, so for example, you have a 40K device, a broker device, for which the remote password management is not available and also the reason, uh, the resource type will not be available here, right? So if you want to connect to that device through the SSH, you have to enable it. So for that, you have to go to the admin tab and you have a dedicated section for here, it's called auto log on. So auto log on helper and we have the different types here. So it's edit the SSH resource type. You will see the custom resource type that you created in the left hand pane. You can move it to the right hand pane and save so that the SSH option will be available for your custom resource types as well. Okay, I have another question, a beautiful question. When you add a resource, always collect local accounts of the server and we could access server. How could we add AD accounts and use remote desktop to access the server with NPM? I'm going to show that how you can do it right here. So we have a resource, okay? So I have a domain controller here, which is a domain account. So this is basically domain account to connect to a domain controller. And when I do a discovery on a normal desktop or a server, that would be added as a Windows server. So let me think this is a Windows server. So So now this is a Windows server to which I have to use this administrator account to connect. So you have options right here. If you click on open connection, you can say choose domain account. And here you can select the domain account. The excuse me, the administrator account, or you can also use your own account that you have logged into Password Manager Pro and say connect. So that would use your domain account to connect to a Windows Server. This is also available right here under the connection section. So if you go here, it says choose domain account. You have to choose a domain account to connect to the target server. So the main thing is the domain accounts are to be added only in the resource type called Windows Domain and Password Manager Pro. And the local accounts are to be added only in the resource type called Windows. Okay, so I have another question. It's about the version. So the latest version of Password Manager Pro that is going to be released tomorrow is 9800. So you are in 8600 version. So the question is if you are on 8.6, how much of a headache is to go to the latest version without details? How insecure is So 8.6 is not insecure, but it is always good to go to the latest version and have the latest and greatest versions. So the headache. Uh, you can always contact us. You can schedule a time with the support team and we'll help you to get it upgraded to the latest version. So it would just take about 30 to 45 minutes and schedule a maintenance window and schedule a time with support team and they will help you out with the upgrade. So I have uh, a few more questions that would be answered and it will be published and also will be sent to you as an email. So any other questions you come up, you can always drop us an email to password manager pro hyphen support at manageengine.com addressing my name. And I will go ahead and reply back to your questions. So thank you so much for your time and patience, guys. It was uh, nice talking to you all and you have a wonderful day ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.